RM Sotheby's is the world's largest collector car auction house by total sales. They are the preeminent market maker of high quality collector cars and collections, regardless of size or complexity. By working in partnership with the Sotheby's team and its network of 80 offices in 40 countries, RM Sotheby's has established the largest client network of any collector car auction house in the world. Join the RM Sotheby's family by connecting with one of their car specialists at rmsotheby's.com or contact me directly at gstanley at rmsotheby's.com. LLC TLC is here to save you money on all of your vehicle purchases. LLC TLC will permanently register your classic cars in Montana to avoid any annual renewal fees. As your registered agent, they will handle everything for you so you never have to step foot in Montana. And as a listener of this podcast, LLC TLC is offering 30% off your entire package. Simply go to LLCTLC.com forward slash classic or mention this podcast when you contact LLC TLC directly. Okay. All right. So I am really excited about this. So I have Christy with Crash Jewelry. So tell us a little bit about your business. I am fascinated because I've been coming here for like four years and I love the work you're doing. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah, so it's called Crash Jewelry because um, I am in a body shop. That's where my studio is. Oh, okay. It's in my husband's body shop and he works on, they work on high-end luxury cars, late model. So my studio's there when, a, say, a Bentley comes in and uh, they repair, you know, replace the fender Instead of throwing away the old fender, I will take it and upcycle it. And the whole goal of my jewelry is that everything is original factory paint. So, for example... Oh, original factory paint. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, you're looking at a 360 Challenge Stradale and Rosso Corsa. Yes. So, and it comes with, uh, we engrave the name of the car on the inside. This one you can't see too well. But, oh, yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Um, and then it also comes with a really fun, like, DMV registration card. Or we list the name of the car, you know, the, the model, the paint, any any other information. So is this a, a factor of you're watching like these rare parts of cars being recycled or thrown away, and you're like, uh, like yeah. did the light bulb go off? Were you yeah. like having a beer, and you're like, hey, wait a second, <laughs> like what was that moment of your like what what was that moment? Yeah, well, it's a couple things really. Um, first, I was at an art opening, and I saw someone that was making art out of. Um, pieces of, of cars, but they were sort of welding them together in a very abstract fashion. Okay. And a friend of mine that I was with said, kind of jokingly, you know, oh, Christy, you should make jewelry from car, you know, from the Dan's yeah. car parts. And, uh, and I was like, huh, that's kind of cool, because it was about 12 years ago, yeah. and I was making jewelry out of sterling silver and gold, and prices, metal prices, like now, are going through the roof. So this was another way of uh, working on something that's alternative, something different from your traditional precious metals, but still has the same cachet, I think. Yeah, so tell me about the upcycle process. So how does that work? Do you send it overseas and somebody... No, so this is a, for Is example, it you with a hammer in your living room? Uh, no, no, I've got oh, okay. a big studio. Um, so here's one of the guys at work taking, removing a fender. And here's Dan cutting up a, 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 a hood. Okay. And then once they do that, they give it to me in kind of smaller pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then from there, it's a very um, low-tech process, although we are using laser technology now. Um, there's sort of an example oh, over there. On, we'll go over there in a second. Um, yeah. There's kind of where I was in the... Okay. And so everything is... is Everything is made by hand. Every, okay. We use rivets uh, because we can't use an open flame as it'll destroy the paint. Mm. So, yeah, and so a lot of bedazzling going on here. I, I know oh, that's yeah, not the yeah, right yeah, phrasing, yeah. but... These guys. Like, is this Look the... At these. Is this... Like, like what? This is... Um, the butterfly itself is hand cut with a jeweler's saw. Okay. It's cut from a panel of a uh, 911. Okay. Uh, and the rhinestones we added after the fact yeah so uh, and then we used a laser to engrave the details I mean that was actually before we put the rhinestones on. sure yeah and then the little antennas are made from the wheel cover of a Mercedes G550 okay and then they're also acting as the necklace bail so that's awesome yeah. and so you do this is all these little dog paws these are all laser etched. La these are all laser engraved uh -huh. engraved okay yeah and we so don't all of these mm -hmm. designs are laser yeah yeah these so the ones cool. that you see that are more intricate um, are all laser engraved and then these are are not and you do earrings earrings necklaces cufflinks and you have them broken up by 
like here's the Porsche. Yep, by Marks. Uh -huh. And here's the Ferrari. We got Lamborghini. I noticed you have Tesla. Yes. Some, uh, we do, we're a Tesla certified shop as well. Okay. So we get a lot of Teslas in. Okay. And we're in LA, so. <laughs> sure, yeah. Okay, Maserati. Now do you find that they buy based on the color style or they buy because it's a Lamborghini bracelet versus a Porsche bracelet? It depends. I mean, if they're a Porsche fan, they're going straight for the Porsche only. Yeah. Because they're really loyal to their brand. Some of the other brands, maybe not so much. Okay. But, yeah. Now, what are the price points? Like, Like, does it matter on the car or is it like, it, it you know? It does. Okay. I mean, for example, McLaren is really hard to come by because they're mostly carbon fiber. Yeah. But I was able to get this McLaren and that's Tokyo Cyan is the color. Yeah. And then that's another McLaren and that's Volcano Yellow. And these are interesting. These are, um, we did them backwards. Like we inverted sure. them. So this is the original paint and this is the primer. Oh, and then okay. we gave it this design and then I made the setting out of turquoise. So we're able to do that. So that's a different sort of little departure. Um, but the prices range from $80 for, you know, a narrow up to about 550. Okay. And what it, about, what yeah. about a butterfly? Butterfly is about uh, 250 to about 390, depending on the amount of work that's labor that's gone into okay. it. And the butterflies are also pins, so you can wear them as a pin, like I'm wearing, or okay. a necklace. So. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. So now you've been doing this for how many years? Uh, Twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. And now you're at which shows? Because I've seen you at quite a few. Yeah. So uh, well. For Car Week, we're here at Automobilia Expo, and then we go over to Retro Auto on Thursday, and then I'll be at the Concorso Italiano on okay. Saturday. Yep. And then we also do um, Amelia Island, Hilton Head. Um, gosh, we're traveling to do a women's summit in Indianapolis, so we're doing quite a bit of traveling. Wow, yeah. okay. Now, what's the best way my uh, followers can learn more and buy some of your wonderful jewelry? Sure, yeah, it's uh, crashjewelry.com. Okay, and obviously the name came from how the cars, <laughs> right. how you get the parts, right? Right, right. So is there some next-gen jewelry or something you're working on like that is, I don't know, like you're always trying to come out with something new, Yeah, right? we are, we are. We're, we're, we're making, um, we'll have these at Retro Auto. We have uh, sculptures um, made out of car, Porsche actually, oh. of uh, dragonflies that you can hang on the walls. And we're doing big butterflies as well. We're, ma we're adding them to furniture, like small decorative tables. Oh, wow. okay. And uh, we're doing Christmas ornaments. We're doing, uh, we worked, we're working with Cadillac now on some ornaments. Um, yeah, we're always, we're thinking of wind chimes. We're thinking of everything we can, sure. you know. That's so brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the Thank Fletcher you. Podcast. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh.